Am I the bad guy for falling out of love with my wife after she took a seven-week vacation? Plus a new update at the end. I, 32, male have been married to my wife, 30, female for four years, and we've been together for eight. She is a stay-at-home mom. We have Irish twins, 1F, 2M, which was incredibly taxing for my wife. She wanted a solo vacation break for a few weeks where she would travel to different states, visit her high school and college friends, go to concerts, and do a lot of fun stuff. She asked if I would be fine with it. Asked if she could make it maybe a couple of weeks shorter, because seven weeks managing our two children alone sounded daunting, especially since work was also getting taxing recently. I do work remotely so at least that worked in my favor. My wife and I discussed this for a couple of days, and I ultimately agreed with her that she did deserve a break because of what she has been through the past few years. And so she took her vacation. The first week of managing our children alone was extremely difficult, and I did feel like I was losing my mind. But I survived. My sister came over to help me from the second week on. She was honestly a lifesaver, and I will be eternally grateful for her. I never directly asked her to help me, but I guess I indirectly did because when she video called me at the end of the first week, I broke down in tears. So from the second week on, my sister stayed over at my house to help with my children, and a huge burden had been lifted off my shoulders. I also was able to focus on work and meet my deadlines. To be brutally honest, I did not miss my wife at all. I was emotionally and mentally relaxed and also had a lot of fun with my children and my sister. I felt a sense of betrayal that my wife had gone through with the seven-week vacation. I slowly fell out of love with my wife. When my wife came back from her vacation, she was super refreshed and recharged. But to be honest, I was a bit indifferent. My wife tried to initiate sex the first night she came back, which I rejected because I said I wasn't feeling it. In the subsequent days, I had the same level of indifference in our day-to-day -day life, and she probably noticed it but didn't say anything. A week later, she asked me why I was like this and I told her I don't love her anymore. She apologized for taking the seven-week vacation and asked if there was anything she could do to fix it. I told her no. We pretty much went through the motions next couple of weeks before I finally decided that I wanted a divorce. She seemed devastated when I brought up divorce which surprised me because I already told her I don't love her anymore. She asked if we could do couples therapy or marriage counseling first before I started looking for a divorce lawyer and I told her I needed some time to think about it. I spent a few days thinking about and I am still leaning toward divorce because I don't love my wife anymore and I don't think marriage counseling can fix it. So, am I the jerk for falling out of love with my wife because she's seven-week vacation? Now for the update. I woke up this morning, spent an hour reading the comments and decided that I at least owe it to our children to try couples therapy before considering divorce. I told my wife of my decision and she was really happy about it. But I also told her I didn't expect too much to come out of it because I just didn't love my wife anymore and wasn't sure if couple counseling would fix that. I want to clarify a couple of things. Money was not an issue. I am lucky to be working in a high-paying, albeit stressful job. It didn't bother me how much money my wife spent on her trip. The main issue was I was emotionally and mentally overwhelmed managing two children while I was also working full-time, albeit remotely. My wife was also specifically against daycare for personal reasons. By the end of the first week, I had lost my sanity and broke down in tears when my sister video called me. My sister had enough time to come over and help me from the second week on, and she wanted to because it gave her a purpose in life. She has no plans to be in the workforce, and she is pretty much set in life because of my father's money. I did ask my father to not leave any money behind for me and give everything to my sister because I was already in the workforce and had a good job. So that's where we stand now. 